Hello guys, Assalamu alaikum. My name is Dr. Faraz Ahmad and in this video I am going to discuss about uh, different job opportunities in different countries of the world for Pakistani doctors uh, and different pay packages in these countries will also be discussed. So this video is very important for those doctors who have done their graduation in recent past and for those medical students who are going to be graduated in near future. So guys, as uh, you all know about post-graduation and uh, FCPS training in Pakistan, uh, particularly in Punjab, uh, these days a lot of students are going to be expired their FCPS part 1 because no seats are available for induction. So this video is very important. You should also keep these points, these options in your mind as a second option, as a B plan. Okay, so first of all, if you have done your MBBS, you have done your house job and you want to go abroad without an exam. So there are only two options available. One is Ireland and second one is Maldives. So guys, these two options are really important as uh, there is no uh, difficult duties in these countries and you can easily uh, appear in uh, other exam like PLEB, like USMLE, like AMC along with job, along with handsome pay in these countries. So in Ireland, you will work as senior house officer. You will earn 2,500 to 3,000 euro. Uh, in, in Pakistani rupees, you can earn 5 to 6 lakh. So job opportunities for MBBS doctors are good in Ireland. In Maldives, you can uh, earn 4 to 5 lakhs. So if someone wants to go abroad without an exam after FCPS, okay, okay guys, if you have done your FCPS, and you want to work as a consultant in some other countries other than Pakistan, then you can go to Ireland, Kuwait and Saudi Arabia. But keep in mind that in Ireland, if you have done your FCPS in anesthesia, you then you can practice as a specialist in Ireland. If you have done uh, FCPS in some other subject uh, like medicine, surgery, gynae, etc., you can't do uh, work as a consultant in Ireland. In Kuwait, you can work as a, a consultant after FCPS, either you have done in anesthesia or in any other specialty. So you can earn up to 17 lakh in uh, Kuwait. So if you have done uh, FCPS in dermatology, then this is bonus for you. You can earn 26 to 27 lakh as a dermatologist in Kuwait. Saudi Arabia also provide very uh, good opportunities for specialist doctors. Uh, like if you are you have done the FCPS in general medicine or general surgery, you can earn uh, 33,000 Saudi Rial per month. But if you have done uh, FCPS in subspecialty like you have done in cardiology, peds, uh, uh, gastro, then you can earn up to 48,000 Saudi Rial per month. So guys, if someone wants to go abroad after MBBS and by clearing the exam, then definitely you can go for PLEB, you can go for MLE and you can go for AMC. Uh, you have to clear these exams after MBBS and then you can enjoy the life in UK, United States and Australia. Okay, if someone wants to go abroad after FCPS and by clearing the exam. Okay, if you have done FCPS. Uh, and uh, you want to go abroad after clearing the exam definitely you can go to United Kingdom you can go to Ireland as well okay if someone don't want to clear any exam and only want extra cash and quality life after MBBS without any exam you can go Ireland and Maldives I have just discussed in previous slide okay uh, if someone wants to clear exam and wants specialist training citizenship good cash and quality life after the MBBS then I have just told you that you can clear USMLE, you can clear PLEB and you can clear uh, PRESS uh, in Ireland as well. If you have done graduation, uh, if you have done MBBS uh, in Pakistan, you can go Ireland without any test as well. So if someone do not want to clear uh, any exam and only want extra cash and quality after FCPS, I have just told you that if you have done FCPS and you want to work as a consultant, you can go to Ireland, if you have done training in anesthesia, you can go to Saudi Arabia, you can go to Qatar, you can go to Bahrain, okay, and you can also go to visit, oh, sorry, Kuwait. So in Qatar, uh, the average salary is 9 to 10 lakh, and in Bahrain, you can earn 20 lakh PKR per month. In Saudi Arabia, I have just discussed 33,000 for general specialist and for consultant in subspecialty, you can earn 48,000. 
okay if someone uh, wants to clear exam and wants specialist training citizenship good cash and quality life after fcps then definitely you should move to uk and ireland so guys i would like to tell you that three weeks ago uk have removed uh, pakistan from the list of those countries whose postgraduate training was uh, acceptable in uk now if you want to go uk after fcps you can start your career uh, from uh, lab or uh, for mrcp or you can work as a junior consultant okay previously pakistan was listed for peds and anesthesia training if you have done peds and anesthesia training in pakistan you can work as a uh, consultant in uk but before three weeks ago uk has removed from uh uk have removed from, uh, pakistan from this list okay so guys this was all about today's video if you have any comments you have any queries you can ask me in the comments thank you very much bye bye Thank you.